destroy the ammo box located here. It is being used to supply the terrorists. So you click on that, and the map will take you to that task. In my previous video here, I showed you how to set up tasks with pictures. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to link these tasks to locations on the map. All right, here we are in the mission. Let's go to the map. So on the map, we have seven tasks. Like in the previous video, we have the same similar tasks, except now we have two more. And the tasks are more spread out and in different areas based on what the tasks are set up for. Let's go in game and take a look at these tasks. We're in game, let's go to the map, and we're gonna go to the task tab. We have seven tasks total, and at the top we have a task checkpoint, and every task has a corresponding picture. So we have a checkpoint, we have a clear the area, clear radio tower, ammo box, radar, anti-air, and kill the officer. What I'm gonna show you today is we're going to put a link in the description of the task itself so that when you click on the description beat no matter what it is you can put a word here that you want and click on that word and it will take you to the location of that task so for example let's say destroy the radio tower it is located here or something you click on the word here and the map will automatically zoom in onto that spot and you will be at the radio tower or whatever task that you have set up. What we need to do to link the tasks on the map is to put down markers. So we're going to go to F6 markers that'll put us on the map and we're going to place a marker for each task at each task location. So we're going to start up here and we're just going to place a dot marker. You could use whatever marker you want. I'm going to place this marker here. These markers are going to be points of origin where when you click on the task in the description of the task that it will reference this marker to the task and basically move the map to that location. Starting with this marker, we're going to edit the marker and we're going to give it a simple variable name of MK1 and just hit OK. Next, we're going to click on the marker, make sure it's highlighted in the entities panel as you can see here and press Control c we're going to copy it and we're going to go to the next task so the next task is right about here i'm going to paste the next marker here we're going to edit the marker and name it mk2 we're going to go to the next task which is this one and i'm going to put the marker right here edit the marker and name this mk3 and hit ok I'm going to scroll out and we're going to go to this task and paste the marker here. I'm going to edit this one and name this MK4 to this task. And we're going to paste this here and edit this one and name this MK5. Hit OK. And then we're going to go to this task and paste the marker and edit this one. This is going to be MK6. And then the last task is actually over here. And we're going to paste the marker here and it's going to be MK7. Click on the top task, hold down left shift, and then click on the bottom task. That's going to highlight them all right click one of them and let go of the shift button then go to attributes it's going to open up the markers and at the top here it says edit seven markers so we're editing seven markers that we placed and what we're doing here is we're going to go to the marker style and we're going to go to where it says alpha now this as you can see in the tool tip that comes up is transparency what we're going to do is turn the transparency off which means you won't see the markers on the map. So we're going to just move the bar all the way to zero. It'll be zero percent and just hit OK. So now if we go to a marker and you click on the map, that marker is going to disappear. Now this was marker three, so we'll click on that. you still be able to see it if you want to in the Entities panel. 
but for the sake of our task, we don't need to have them on. Now that we have that set up is we're going to go back to the player, save our mission, and then we're going to go to the scenario tab and then down to open scenario folder. And I'm going to show you guys a code that we are going to add to the tasks. Here we are in the mission folder, and this is the images folder that we created in the previous video. If we open it up, previously we had five pictures. Now we have seven because we have seven tasks. So in that video, I showed you how to take screenshots and format each picture. I'm going to show you guys a code, and so we're going to start up a notepad document and type the code out and and then put it into the task. I'm going to put this code in the pinned comment of the video. Before we start I want to thank RXM078 for the idea and the code for this video. Thanks buddy. And here's the code. The code is HTML. You can follow along or just copy it from the pinned comment. So we have a less than sign marker space name equals apostrophe mk1 apostrophe greater than sign clear area less than sign forward slash marker and the greater than sign let's review the code so this is defined for a marker this is the name right here of the marker. So remember in the mission for the first task, it's we named it MK1. So whatever it is in your mission, just remember that between the two apostrophes is going to be the name of the marker. That's your target to where when you click on this word here, and that word could be whatever you want based in your description, you're going to put the word here. And when you click on this word, this word in your description, whatever it is, it's going to take you to the marker which is whatever you put here. Let's copy this and we're going to go back into the mission, add it to the task, copy that and then just update all the tasks accordingly. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Alright, let's go to the entities panel and we're going to go to the markers. We're going to right click the first marker that says MK1, right click it and then go here. That'll take you to the first task where the marker is. You're going to open up the task itself and we're going to basically set this description up to use the code. So clear the area, first sentence is the code. So basically I'm just going to backspace this and I'm going to paste the code right here. So remember this is going to be a word, a part of the sentence. This is the marker that the, this word is going to take you. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And uh, I just hit OK. That sets that up. So let's go to the next task. And this one is the radar. Destroy the radar. We'll put the code here. And if you want to go down one line, just hold down left shift and then hit enter. And that'll make the line go down one. So for this one, we'll put here. We have to update the marker name, which is MK2 for this one. I just hit OK. And let's go to the MK3 marker. This will be the anti-air. And let's go to the task. Destroy the anti-air. And we'll paste the code here. And then left shift and enter. And we'll put MK3 here for the marker and then we'll put here for the uh, word and then just hit it OK and it sets that up. Now we'll go to number four which will be the checkpoint and we'll edit the task. This checkpoint will paste the code here. MK4 will be the marker and we'll just put here and that sets that up. Now we'll go to number five, the officer. And eliminate the officer. He is the officer located. Paste the code. And we'll put the rest of one line down. This will be MK MK5. 
located here and that should set that up all right we'll go to number six which would be the tower destroy the radio tower and put the code here and I'll go shift and enter and this would be mk6 and we'll put here for the word and hit OK, and it sets that up. And the last task we will set up. Destroy the ammo box located and shift and enter and MK7. And this will be here. And that's all good. Let's enter and we're set. Our tasks, our markers are all set. Let's save our mission and let's get in game and take a look how they turned out. Alright, so we're in game. We'll go to the map and we'll go to the tasks. So, optional task, checkpoint. Let's go to the first task, clear the area. So, we put clear area of enemy present. So, here is the the link. The link will be in orange. Let's move the map and you'll see what happens. So we click on that and the map is going to basically zoom in on the area that where the marker is and that's exactly where we put the marker. So if you deviate from that it's going to take you right to it. The radar which is at the farm destroy the radar here so it automatically zooms out and there it is. And then we do the anti-air, destroy the anti-air. Here it is, guarding the airfield. And then we have the checkpoint. The checkpoint here guards the road to the airfield, clear it. So the checkpoint is where? Right here, yep. And then we have an officer, eliminate the officer, located here. He is the leader of the terrorist group. It takes you over to this little villa. And then from there we have radar tower. Destroy the radar tower here. It is being used by the terrorists to communicate on the island. And then the last task is the ammo box. Destroy the ammo box located here. It is being used to supply the terrorists. So you click on that. And the map will take you to that task. And there you go. So as you can see, some of these tasks, like this one turned out good. There's, you know, spacing. So you might have to, this one was good. This one needs just a little bit of adjustment because it's too close to it. Uh, same with this one, this one, this one, and this one. So once you get one set up, then you basically see how you did it, give it more space, and just, just experiment with it. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something. I hope you find this useful. So if you want to see more codes and scripts that are kind of like this or more, uh, take a look at this playlist.